Movies always slip through the cracks, I mean, right? You know, but it's not often that like a Japanese monster movie slips through the cracks, especially when like supposedly it was the biggest budgeted giant monster movie ever at the time. We're talking 1977, and you tell it's 1977, you tell it's not 1975 because they're ripping off Jaws in this movie. This is Legend of Dinosaurs and Monster Birds, and that alone. First off, if this movie was half as cool as the damn cover, this would be the coolest movie ever. If you see this movie in the in the video store, or like you see it at Best Buy or whatever, and you look at this box and you're like, man, it's a freaking pterodactyl chop on like Nessie from Loch Ness's neck and it's just kick ass and there's blood coming out like wings are flapping around rah, rah, you know you're just waiting for like great no you don't get that I'm sorry you just do not get that but it doesn't matter basically this guy like this woman falls in this hole and she finds like these prehistoric eggs or whatever so they're like going around searching for it because she comes out of the hole and nobody knows where she like came from or whatever but you get to see her underwear so that's cool but then all of a sudden, like, there's these reports of this monster in this lake, and this is where the Jaws ripoff comes in. I swear to God, there's, like, freaking scenes, like, that are stolen directly from Jaws, where people are, like, floating around and stuff, and there's people on the beach of this lake, and all of a sudden, ah, they hear the screams and thrashing and stuff, and they look up, and then the people are gone, and there's just their little raft floating there. Or, like, the girl has, like, her feet you know, stick it out of the raft and then all of a sudden you see the scenes from below and then giant monster comes up and that's the 40 minute mark by the way that I'm talking about. All of a sudden monster comes up and it's got the fakiest looking eye of all time and these really bad teeth and I'm sorry but if you get picked up by a giant monster and it like has you by the leg you're gonna lose that damn leg. That's just what's gonna happen but like somehow she breaks free but then she gets chomped up anyway so it's all good and then there's like a great torso bit that's like one of the best scenes in this movie so I won't spoil it for you but you gotta see it for yourself but then it's awesome because then oh I gotta tell you the other part that's Jaws Rip. I forgot about this part. So anyway, there's this country western band that's playing this dragon festival. Don't ask me why there's this Japanese country band, but they are. And actually, first they start playing the surf rock. So I don't know where it turns into country. I don't know what the hell they were thinking because the surf rock part of it was pretty good. You got to watch the dub version on this part because the voices are really funny. I was switching back between subtitles and dub because I like to like compare the two. And I watched you know the the band scene. It's way funnier on the dub version. So anyway, they're, they're playing on like this floating stage, kind of like Lumberjack Days, and I wish this would happen at Stillwater because it'd be kick-ass. If like all of a sudden this dinosaur bucked up from like the Stillwater Bridge and just fucking ate whatever, like ELO Part 2, or maybe Loverboy or somebody that's playing on the floating stage at Lumberjack Days and just chomped down on Mike Reno from Loverboy and ate him while he's singing Almost Paradise. That'd be awesome. It'd be like, almost, ah! head goes off the whole bit. This movie's actually pretty gory, too. There's a bunch of like, like limbs being spit out and crap like that. Like I said, the torso part, there's a headless horse that gets his head bit off and stuff it's awesome but anyway where the hell was it oh yeah that, that stage thing i was talking about so anyway the stage breaks down and then there's these dudes like floating around with this little like fake dinosaur back you know just like in jaws when those two kids had the thing and i don't know those kids didn't get shot because five of those guys even if i knew they were kids i still would have shot them just for scaring everybody they deserved it but anyway these people don't get shot anyway they get away and they're like sitting on the other side of this cove and they're like hey did our trick work and this guy's like yeah it worked great and then all of a sudden dinosaur comes up and chops on one it's awesome that's the first scene comes up with the dive right between his mouth but I'm sorry he would he's gonna have sharp teeth he's gonna do it so anyway the the main people are looking for this damn dinosaur right there's like the the diver or the main archaeologist guy and this diver girlfriend they're looking for it they find the dinosaur but then all of a sudden dinosaur disappears why because it gets attacked by a pterodactyl and all of a sudden there's this crazy Japanese jazz fusion music going when it appears and it's just flapping around Rodan style trying to create this wind tunnel and it's like hopping around like a giant puppet it's really kick-ass and then the other monster like bites into it and stuff and then the volcano runs. it's just ridiculous and the last scene you got to see the, the end of this movie because I swear to God it goes for like 15 minutes and they play this insipid Japanese pop song that has nothing to do like with what's going on in the movie there's zero it's like somebody just went hey let's just stick random on our iPod they didn't have iPods back then. I realize that. Don't send me any letters okay I'm just saying like if you did that you just stick it on random and then all of a sudden like some jet like sappy Japanese pop song comes on while this guy's trying to rescue this woman who's fallen into a crater while this volcano of Mount Fuji's erupted it's kick-ass 
if you like your giant monster movies, you're going to like this. There's gore. There's boobs, for God's sakes. There's like a butt scene in the shower. It's awesome. And it's unrated out on DVD, so it's kind of kick-ass. And I never even heard of this damn thing, but apparently played on Mystery Science Theater, but I didn't see it. So if I had, I probably would have done it because I'm probably ripping them off. Sorry. TW Video Services is proud to sponsor this program. If you are interested in our full range of video and multimedia solutions, please visit us at www.twvs.com.